Hello, everybody. Thank you for showing up at Plan and Traffic. My name is Lewis Lee, and we are live on Facebook and YouTube. Go, Lou. Lou Santiago here. Do a little show, you know, on on Motor Trend, and uh, I do this here, Plan and Traffic. And I'm just hanging out tonight. We got Jeff on the line somewhere. We're trying to get him in. Tori, go. Hey, everybody. I'm Tori de Blasi from Long Island, New York. And I am on the phone with Jeff Thisted right now. He is the voice of the Hot Rod Power Tour. And, Lewis, I have a technical question for you. He's Go. trying to open up in Google Chrome, like we're mm -hmm. all on. But it keeps opening up in Safari. It's not letting him in. So do you have any suggestions so I get back to Jeff on the phone? Mm, he's on a Mac? He's on a Mac, yes. And I know nothing about Macs. Okay. He... Give him, ah. give him, the, phone, give him the phone number. Tori. Yeah, yeah. Give Kevin him my Cole phone Lewis. number. Yeah. Okay, we'll no, do. Get him on. We'll do. You're awesome. I appreciate it. I'm gonna just drop off for one second. All right, later. So, Lou, are you? Uh, no, you're not filming. You're back home, huh? Yeah, I'm home right now. Um, Lily gets married. Hey! There he is. Hey, look at this. <laughs> you know what it was? It was that that yeah. famous drink with the hair flowing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what it was. I, I didn't realize it was uh, that you had to be on Chrome and not Safari, and I got a Mac. I'm a Mac guy. So, me too. We did it. Where's Nelson at? Look what I got right here next to me. Yeah. My box, my door converter. <laughs> How are you guys? What's up, great, Jeff? How great. you doing, Good man? seeing you, Jeff. I'm uh, I'm I'm really good. Just uh, uh, the heads got started today. Nice. Uh, the long block is together. Uh, I saw the transmission got dropped off today, so I leave tomorrow. I got a gig that I'm driving up to Pleasanton for the Good Guy Show. Uh, I'm back on Monday, and I leave Tuesday for the Midwest Drags, which starts at uh, the Summit Midwest Drags Summit Raceway in uh, is that Columbus? Yeah, I think it is. Colum I think it's Columbus. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, uh, Norwalk. No, Norwalk. 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 Yeah. So Norwalk. Uh, when are you going there? I got the uh, the Midwest drags right there. I go ah, there 67 on seven Camaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a mini drag week, is what it is. Oh, and, got uh, you. The same guys that put on the C10 Nationals uh, are putting on this. So it's a it's a mini drag week. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, three different stops, and then we go back into Norwalk, and then from Norwalk I fly down to Zmax Raceway. To host the Hot Rod Power Tour, and hopefully uh, uh, Lou and Tori are going to make it out there. Are you going to make it out there, Lou? I'll be there. I'm home yeah? next weekend. Yeah, Lewis? I'm home next weekend. What about yeah. you? And it's in my backyard, so I'll, I'll go. Okay, awesome. Yeah, because no, you, uh, I'll be there. You, you were out there last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we did the end, when we did the end of the Power Tour, we were there because we did the last three stops. Yep. And uh, I this you up year, on stage giving away all of right, uh, right. All yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was funny. <laughs> oh, that, was good. that was good stuff. Yeah. I can help this year. That was Heck so yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I did the place out. Yeah. And the whole bottom end of my engine is is your doing. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to corrupt. I mean, help you. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so I'm so uh, thrilled. Let's see. I got to uh, – where'd it go? There we go. The uh, – can you see that? Yep, there it is. So when you plan on, when are you planning on putting the engine in? Uh after hopefully after the power tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm back on the the fifteenth. I get back and then uh, the sixteenth Father's Day is the Beverly Hills Concourse d'Elegance, which is it's such a dichotomy of yeah. the power tour where the power tour you got six thousand cars that are running and driving and people sweating all over them and and then you go to Beverly Hills, and they're all behind these velvet robes. <laughs> and yeah. and cut, um, uh, they're nice cars, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it's kind of a a whole different whole different vibe. But that'll that'll be fun too. So yeah, That's then I'll really pick cool. up the uh, I'll pick up the transmission when I'm back. So it's all uh, it's all very exciting. <laughs> very cool. nice. Hey very Jeff, cool. uh, I, I want to get in on the ground floor of your postcard book that you're going to put together. Okay. From all the pictures all over the world that you travel, every yeah. picture you take is like a postcard. Oh come on! Really, man. I let, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, pictures. thank you. They are good pictures. Thank I you. I all the time, it. Jeff. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's uh, 
Uh, my favorite is the um, uh, the not the Sequoia. Uh, when I drive the, through the tunnel log, yeah, 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 that. yeah, that's like one of those '50s postcards. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. It was pretty. I'm awesome. hoping. I'm hoping next year, if everything goes right, I want to do si Route 66 next year. Oh, like go to Chicago and go yep. all the way. You know what I mean? Do the whole thing. That's I had what done, I want to do. I did the uh, what is it, Seligman to a uh, uh, Kingman to Seligman, Arizona, that part. Uh, but I had never done like Albuquerque and um, uh, what Tuscamari, whatever it is in New Mexico. Tucumcari. Thank you. I, I, don't know to, I can't say it. Uh, but you know where it is. I know where it is. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That, that stretch of the road yeah. uh, is fantastic. And then the Oakland Cadillac Ranch. Yeah. Uh, Big Texan Steakhouse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty yep. awesome. Yeah. And what are you going to do it in? Um, Probably I'm gonna try and put I'm gonna try and get my suburban back on the road. I got a I got a I got a couple of square bodies, and I got one that's lowered and everything. I got a, I'm gonna put barn doors in the back because the, the the truck came out of Buffalo, so the rear floor brace that holds the uh, the springs the torsion bars for the hatch for the rear hatch for yeah. the rear tailgate they're rotted out. Oh, I got you and. In order to fix it, I got to take everything. I got to drill out all the spot welds on the brace, build a new one. And man, I, for that, I'd rather just do all the spot welds and put a put a barn door set in. Because you could take the opening from a set of barn doors, drill yeah. out everything, put that new opening in, and you're done. And I got an opening. I got a good set of doors. So I think I'm going to do that. The barn, the, but the barn doors aren't as uh, as useful as the tailgate. I know, but I have two more with tailgates. Oh, geez. <laughs> I guess it could be the king. <laughs> it's good to be the king. Right? So. One of my buddies on the at the on the good guys shows, Ed. Uh, yeah, he's got. Uh, he's got. Uh, don't tell anybody. I told you this. It's just between us, You're right? Telling everybody. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> yeah, we well, not going to okay, tell anybody. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> he's got over a dozen of those. The third gen Camaros. Oh, and I don't care about them. <laughs> oh, I do. Over a dozen. I thought you were going to say. I, I thought you were going to talk about suburbans. I, 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 oh, I got nothing. But you can you can soup those up so easy and autocross them. And uh, anyways, any any all of them we paid less than a grand for. So oh my like, god! Nice. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 But that's what I, I want to do. Route sixty six. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Go to Chicago, and you know, just like if you get to the TP motel and you want, and it's two o'clock in the afternoon, screw it. I want to stay there. That's what I'm going to stay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, Oh yeah. The have, Blue you know, Swallow motel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. do it in 10 days, you do it in 10 days. It's just that simple. So, so get this. I stopped, uh, on the way up from, uh, the good guys in, uh, uh, at the Texas motor speedway. I end up driving through Shamrock or Shamrock, Texas. Yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah. uh, um, what is it? Raul's or it's, it's in the, one of the cars movies, mm -hmm. but the, did, did you guys ever watch those, um, the, the Ken block videos, the Jim Cotta videos yes, where he does the one in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Shamrock. <laughs> yeah, it so is. It is. I, I went to that, to the, 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 you drop in that, that station yep. and this little old lady comes out and starts asking me about the car and, I'm asking about Ken Block and who who is this? <laughs> who is this? Like, you know the guy with the, the truck, that silly boy in the truck. They made so much commotion, <laughs> and she showed me she showed me where he broke his rim on the uh, on the curb. Yeah. So I pulled the 55 up right in front of him and got a picture where it was still there. And they were like that silly boy in that truck, and like yeah, he's a he's a he's Man. a silly boy indeed. He beat that town up, boy. Oh, wasn't that cool? It's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. That was so, awesome. Yeah. But route, route 66 is just, it's, boy, it's it, the mother road. It's just fantastic. Yeah. And it's it's so sad how, especially in Albuquerque, I pulled off at the, I took Central Avenue the entire way through Albuquerque. And it's, uh, there's so many signs that are still there, but there's nothing, there's just an empty yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it's, uh, sad. Yeah. it's sad. It's sad. It's very sad. Yeah, but the, the, but that's the you know what I hate to say it, but that's that's our country. You yeah. know, and they don't want nothing old. They want everything new, so they destroy all this history. really cool history. history. Yep. Yeah, and it's that's what makes it so sad, man. I mean, it's disgusting to me. But hey, you know, I'm not in charge yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It's like that's why the in California, you know, a house is old if it's 20 years old. They scrape it down and build a new one. But on yeah. the East Coast, it's not old if it's 200. 
Right. Right. Yeah. It's amazing, you know. And yeah. then you go to Germany and there's people living in like Germany and England oh. and all of Europe. This freaking house. Oh, it's a thousand years old. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know barely what I mean? broken in. Yeah, barely <laughs> broken in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's <insane>. crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's the deal, man. But that's 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 what I want to do. I'd like to do it next year. And tell me about this uh, this square body bourbon. What's it? you got to have AC in it? It's got AC front and rear. It's just got a stock oh. three fifty in it. It's uh, I'm gonna build a front end for it so I can get it a little bit lower. But it's it's got a four bar on it and it's it's pretty slammed. It's it's and I went as low as I could go without getting the, the lower control arms in the dirt. Okay. So I'm gonna build a cross member for it. Call get, it, QA1. get it all the way there. QA I'm just gonna, the I'm gonna build it. I'm gonna oh, build it. Yeah, I'm gonna build you. it. You're a I got. I, I I know a little bit about that. Yeah, I've done, I've done a couple of them. You can have it all delivered instead of having to build it. That's that's that's, that's, that's no fun. I want to. Uh, I want to build. That's why I have a welding machine. <laughs> how's, your, how's your class? Huh? How's your class? Are you done with your class? Yeah, we're done. The uh, summer semester just started uh, Tuesday. Okay. But I'm taking I'm taking this semester off because I got some stuff I got to do two hours from the house. I got to get a sh I'm getting a shop going for an online video. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm getting that, that going. Two hours from the house. Yeah, it's better than ten hours from the house to go to Tampa. <laughs> yeah, downtown. Oh, good point. Yeah, and I got it's a you know it's a it's a good sized building. It's only a hundred thousand square feet. Holy shit! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. Tori's seen it. Tori's been there. I hope you feel it. Yeah, so I got a, I got a bunch of cars to build. What it is is this gentleman I know. He uh he's got thirty cars he wants built, oh. and he said he said come up, build the cars. You can shoot all the video you want. I don't care about money. Let's ma let's make enough money so you can survive and let's do this. And I said all right. It's just that easy. Yeah, yeah, it is when you got someone who's cool. <laughs> Very cool man. There yeah. are good people left in the world. Yeah, there's yeah, a couple. So. He's got a, he's got a videographer on staff and and he's you know we're gonna do it and he's got some he's got some cool cars man he's got some he's got you know a couple of Studebakers he's got a couple of mid okay. you know early sixties T Birds he's oh, got yeah. a thirty one Chrysler four door sedan that's all it's all rotted out but I'm gonna take the back doors out move it forward and I'm gonna make it a crew I'm gonna make it a uh, uh, extended cab pickup oh very cool. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, it's rotted out. The, like the whole bottom of the car has got the bottom of the doors all have to be rebuilt and everything. But I'm going to make it an extended cab pickup. So where are these videos going to show? They're going to be on right now. It's it's going under the name Garage Insider TV. That's the name I've been trying to start for a while. Okay. That's what I've been trying to do, and that's where it looks like it's going to go. We got to get. He's got people on staff to do all the computer work, so we're going to mm -hmm. start working on that. You know, they, they're going to tie it into his site and all that he owns a company named strut masters okay. so if you do say you got a say you got a, a cadillac and the factory air goes out he has strut replacements so you don't so you can you don't have to put the factory air back in you just put the strut replacements in the car sits at stock height rides the same oh, and nice. it's a lot it's a lot cheaper okay yeah it's a lot cheaper yeah that's genius yeah spend five uh, five hundred instead of five grand Right, exactly. 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 And as a matter of fact, he did a one of my students has got a, a an S was it is it a S series Mercedes, the big sedan? Yeah. Okay, he's got FL an S. Is the coupe and then the S is the yeah. Yeah, it's the big it's the big Lincoln. And I know yeah. it's not a 3. I know it's not it was a it was a 430. That's what it was. That was the number on the back. Okay. And um I got him the whole strut package for seven hundred dollars. Wow! <laughs> yeah, Chip cut me a smoking deal on it, and we turned up rebuilding the whole front end on it. But we could have had it done in a day, but his front end was shot, so we had to rebuild the front end. But he did that in class. Yeah, nice. So we were rocking. Yeah, yeah. And you taking this semester off? Yeah, I got to because I want to get this thing done in Roxborough. I want to get it. I want to get it up and running. Get it going. The toolbox gets there tomorrow. I just I had to order a toolbox because you know when I'm in my, in my shop by myself I don't I can't lock my toolboxes because I got too much shit so I bought a I actually bought a toolbox from strictlytoolboxes.com. That was my next question. Harbor Freight <laughs> Snap On? No, dude, I'm telling you, Jeff, strictlytoolboxes.com. 
they they I bought a 72 inch toolbox, a Ooh. top and a bottom box for forty nine hundred dollars. Wow, that's nice. really good. Yeah. And you and can it, sand in the shelves. And it, I have, I, I've laid hands on these toolboxes. They're every, I swear to you, they're probably built in the same, the same, same factory that Mac goes snap on and all them are made in. I, I'm telling you, it's, it's just like them. It's just like them. Nice. Now you just got to like fill it. Them. Oh, I got the stuff to fill it. That ain't a problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. That's that. That ain't a problem. That's really not. My dad lives um, in. Uh, my pop lives in Evergreen, Colorado. Yeah. And uh, we went with one of his buddies to pick up his Jeep that was at the shop. And yeah. I looked inside, and there was one of those snap-on things with the top deck and the side deck. Yeah. It was bigger than my apartment. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, man. Look, look at this. It's crazy. Thing. It's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and yeah. the thing is, is that's easily like 40 grand for that. They sell their bottom – they sell that big 72-inch bottom box anywhere 10 to 12 grand, yeah, 14 empty. grand. It's crazy. It's yeah. just, it's nuts, man. I can't see. I ain't got that kind of money. No, Let's but it's the double roller bearings, Lou. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the double roller bearings. I'll bring a title of one of my cars and say, here, here's a title. I'll yeah, trade you for yeah, a toolbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll probably sell them a grand. That's what I remember that show that I did. Uh, the first time the Mac Tool Truck ro rolls up, uh, they're, they're talking. Yeah. To the so you're going to buy anything? Yeah. How about the, you know, the, the set of dikes? Sixty dollars yeah. later, yeah, yeah. I got it to uh, to, to uh, Orchard Supply Hardware and for Sears, and they were eight bucks. It's like, yeah. oh, jeez, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. I still got them, and they're super nice, but yeah. <laughs> but they're expensive as shit. You gotta yeah. keep them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta yeah. Keep them. yeah. oh yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. I mean, and and, and I've got some Snap-on tools. I, I I got some, but man, I just can't. Okay, look at this. This is. A 62 inch, it's 20, it's 20 inches deep, 62 across, top and bottom box, right? Look at the price oh, at the bottom. 1900 bucks. Yeah. 1995. Wow, that's massive. That is big. Now is that not the company we, we uh were talking to at SEMA last year or the year before? I don't think they've been to SEMA. I really don't know. I really don't know. I um I actually found out about these guys when I was when I was when I got that other shop in Tennessee going. That's what that's when I heard about these guys because he had two of their boxes. Where is it? Here's on strictlytoolboxes.com. Strictlytoolboxes.com. Like this one here. This is this is just the bottom box. It's a 72 inches, 30 inches wide, and oh, look at wow. the look at the price on it. Thirty one. Oh yeah, 3100. 3115. You can't beat that, man. No. You can't beat that. So I got I got a 72 inch coming with a uh you know, with the whole with a top and a bottom. Cuz I want the top box. I mean, if I'm going to if I'm going to spend that kind of money for a box, I want to take a few years to fill it. You know what I mean? It's just that simple. Yeah. So well, especially if you got what 60 cars to work on. Exactly. Exactly. And I got, you know, and I got to be able to secure my stuff because it's not my shop, you know. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And yes, Jason, it is the company that makes the same ones for your Nissan Armada. <laughs> With the rear air ride. Yes. And the toolboxes are made somewhere overseas. I think Taiwan, but don't quote me on it. But they're still good. Yeah. Yeah. So they, and, they work and, out really good. And Jeff, thank you for sending me those emails. I, I did email those guys, so oh, good. if you run into them, uh, you know, give them a little nudge. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. My pleasure. How's the uh, the Nomad coming along, Tori? Well, the Nomad's taking a little bit of a break right now. We kind of transitioned into the 55 Chevy two-door hardtop, the Bel Air. That's the car that I've been posting on Instagram with the supercharged oh, the LSA. six liter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. So there are a lot of little things that I ran into, but I have a list of every part number that I used. So any problems that arise in the future with anyone's builds, I know how to get around those problems and stuff. For example, the valve covers were specific for the supercharged cars. The truck valve covers, they had this cumbersome bracket on top of the valve cover. It located the coils two inches tall, 
and it ran to the fuel rails. So there was, a, you know, there's some uh, fitment problems there. So you buy the specific Ellis Line valve covers, delete the brackets, the coil slipped down two inches, problem solved. It's all those little details, little things like that that kind of, you know, threw me a little bit at the end. But I got everything now. The car's ready to go to uh, North Carolina for some work with Lou. And then I'll take its journey down to Florida in July. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. You ready to rock? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. ready Thank rock. you, Lou. Wasn't yeah. for you, it wouldn't be possible. So, yeah. Hey, I just put you in touch with a guy. That's all I did. <laughs> you knew the guy. Yeah, you, but you I knew the guy who knows the guy. But I knew the right. I knew the right guy. So you know, <laughs> so I just put you in touch with the right guy. Hey, speaking of Tory, he has a new article in on uh, All Ends Magazine dot com, All Ends Mag. Excuse me. He has a new article uh, from one of our previous guests, Alan. Uh, what's his last name? Alan Benuelos. Benuelos. So go check it out. Allinsmag.com. Check it out. Here we go. So, Jeff, what do you have coming up after the power tour? I mean, I know you do other stuff. Uh, What's my. Anything good coming up? After the power tour, let me see. I think it's uh, some good guy shows. Uh, June, I'm back then. Hey, National Go Skateboard Day. (laughs) <laughs> that's a good day <laughs> and you yeah, skateboard yeah. too right jeff yeah i finally went to the venice beach skate park it's a uh, it's up oh, yeah, a little I've been bit there. i've been it's there open i mean free to the public on the beach yeah. it's, it's pretty legit yeah, uh, yeah pretty fantastic yeah i love going there i can't i don't do any tricks i just skate around the bowls and stuff uh, all the kids, you can can you ollie? It's like I can't ollie. I, 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 can't a I can keep everything on the ground. But, uh, um, let's see, Good Guys Ohio. Uh, that's supposed to be one of the their that biggest is their big one. That's their big one, yeah. And get this, uh, that same guy Ed who's got all the Camaros. He's organizing this since it's 2019. It's the 50th anniversary of the '69 Camaros. So it started with having '69. Of the baddest ass 69 Camaros, and it ballooned up to I think last time I talked to him, he had over 130 that were showing up. Every every single Mark Stilo car is going to yeah. be there. All these Yenko, all these Copos. Oh wow! Crazy. Yeah, so that's uh, that's good guys. Ohio. What's that date? Uh, July 12th, 13th, and 14th. Yeah, in July. So that'll be awesome. Oh yeah, then my brother's mm-hmm. birthday is after that. Oh, and then that, and then July nineteenth. My goal is to. I, I hope the engine's in by then. I want to drive it out to Colorado, and the NHRA is running. Yeah, uh, Bandemir, my, Yeah, my, yeah, it, that weekend. And yeah, my, yeah, my yeah, five-year-old yeah. nephew has never been oh, to an yeah. NHRA event, and I want to take him to see the dragsters, and it'll yeah, to scare the shit out of. Him. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He likes oh, yeah. cars. Oh yeah, well, dude. Last year, I took. I've taken my kids, but we took Casey. My my uh, on the twenty second of this month, she'll be my daughter in law. I took oh, Casey right. da- down to Atlanta. Took Nate and Casey down to Atlanta so they could. She had never been to the drag race. She's been at a local one here, Mooresville. I was like, no, the the heavy hitters. And she's like, no, never been. So we go down there. And we got there early, you know. They would the everyone was just starting to come in. They hadn't even run any top, you know, top fuel cars yet. So I saw Jack Beckman first, and I know Jack, so go over introduce her to Jack. And I said, Jack, she's never she's never seen these kind of cars run before. And you know, Jack, Jack's cool. He's like, so he's like, so Casey, this is what's gonna happen. You know, we're we're gonna fire this thing up in about fifteen minutes, and you're gonna stand over there, and. I'm just going to be honest with you. You're not going to like it. Your eyes are going to water. It's going to be loud. It's, it's just You're just not going to like it until we stop. <laughs> so, so it's like, so come back in 20 minutes. So I see Ron Caps. He's right across the way. I drag her over there to meet Ron. Ron basically does the same thing. So we're talking to Ron. And I said, I said Ron, we got to go. Jack's getting ready to fire up his. He's like, when you're done, come back. I'm like, all right. So we, I drag her back across the aisle. And he has a stand right by, you know, like the, the big green garbage can, you know. But it's right there at the headers. It's right there. At oh, the- gee, yeah. 
everybody's putting on their mask. You know, Jack comes walking by. He's like, "Are you ready?" And she goes, "Yeah." Did and she? He, and I, did she have on? We had earplugs. We got. We had, okay. one of the guys gave okay. us earplugs. Okay. So we're standing, and you know, and I've been around it so many times. I know what to expect. I'm standing there. He fires up the car. She's she's probably got like you know hair down the back of her elbow at the time. All of a sudden, he goes, "Holy shit!" Blows. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign of a good time. She gets, she gets a face full of nitro. It's just like <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. They got they ran it for a couple. You know, they ran it for like two minutes. You know, and he shut. I he they shut it down right. And I go, Jack, we'll be right back. I grab Casey, run her across the aisle, put it right there where about where Jack had her. <laughs> Ron fires it up. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Those natural causes are amazing. so awesome. <laughs> so, so what was her reaction afterwards? Oh, dude, she loved it. She did? Okay, good. She loved it. She loved right, it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loved it. And then one time, uh, this this was a uh, – it wasn't the first four wide nationals. It was the one later on in the season where they just come back to, to, to Z-Max. Okay. It wasn't – it was that year. And uh, my sister had never been. None of my nieces and nephews had ever been, so – I grab, I get enough tickets. As a matter of fact, Chip, the guy who who owned Strut Masters at the time was sponsoring Clay Milliken. He, they, he's still doing it now, but there's something going on I don't understand, but that's beside the point. But Chip gave me like eight tickets. Nice. So, yeah, so I grabbed, I grabbed my nieces and nephews, my sister, my wife, my kids, and we all go down to Z-Max. And, you know, I knew, I know Clay. So we're at the hospitality trail and I'm talking to Clay and I said, Clay, my sister's never seen one of these fire up about how much longer you're going to be before you fire. Well, he's like, hell, he's like, the blower's on, Lou. We're going to fire it up in like a minute. And he goes, where's your sister? And I said, well, she's over there. And she was sitting up at the front of the car, you know? So Clay, the, the guy that he is, who's, he's so awesome with this. He goes, he goes over to my sister, you know, he goes, excuse me, Rachel. He goes, my name's Clay Milliken. I drive this car. We're getting ready to start it up. I would really like it if you sat over here. And he moves it to the back of the car. <laughs> she has no idea why. But she goes, <laughs> my nieces and nephews all go. And they fire it off. <laughs> Lit her up, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. It was so awesome. <laughs> So yeah, it was, it was awesome. So yeah, now nobody wants to go to the drag strip, but Casey wants to. She's the only one who wants to go back to the drag strip with me now. She's still infected. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She passed the test. She's a keeper. Yeah, yeah. No yeah, one else get, wants to go though. I want to get my uh, my nieces and nephew out there. The nephew especially. Yeah, he would love. He would love it. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, yeah, you take him there for that, and that'd be awesome. Are you, you gonna drive me. the fifty five out there with them? We need with, with your nephew. Yeah. Heck yeah. Dude, that'd be awesome. That see, These that's even better. Bad. That's yeah. even yeah, that makes it that much better. It'd be good fun. I want to get out there. My uh, uh they're living up in the mountains now, and they'll be down in Denver for the summer. So my hope is to take them out. Uh my mom used to teach like 20 miles east of Colorado Springs in, in a little town called Ellicott. And I want to take I want to drive Alex out, my niece, out to Ellicott, where my brother's never gonna take her out there. It's like it's right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Right, so, right, uh, right. Yeah, take her out there in the in the fifty five. Nice, uh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. what the hell? Yeah, no, yeah. it's awesome. It's awesome. It's my goal in life to be cool, Uncle Jeff. So uh, yeah, there you go. Mission accomplished. I, yeah, <laughs> I saw right. I saw a T shirt on Instagram and it, and it said Grand. It said a uh, Grandpa, the man, the myth, the bad influence. The <laughs> myth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do all the bad Jeff. stuff, and, and then you then you get up and you banish. <laughs> That's the best. Wind them up and walk out. That's it. Till next I mean, time. I, I told Tina I was going to get one of her. She's like, "You're not a grandest." Said, "Hey, I just need to be prepared. It doesn't matter if I am or aren't. I just have to be prepared because I'm letting everybody know that I'm going to be a bad influence." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't know that. Yeah, they know what they're getting into. Exactly. If you thought I wasn't one before, boy, I can't help <laughs> pain, though. You just—you clearly weren't paying attention. <laughs> It's one of those unwritten rules, I guess, you know? Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, like the first time I met yeah. you at SEMA. You're blue steel! It's like, oh, geez, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he recognized me. Yeah. 
<laughs> my friend John, my friend John did a really lame blue steel on, on Instagram. So I told I told him, said you're fucking up. You can't do that anymore, man. <laughs> Banish him, yeah. right? <laughs> you need to get yeah. practice. <laughs> That's awesome. So, you still draw. All right. So, all the pictures that you always post in are, are the the fifty five. How old are they then? Uh, I've the been wondering because you got a lot of damn pictures, man. Yeah, I went through when I. So I, I changed the oil. I document all this. I'm a nutcase. Uh, changed the oil. I think it was March third Sunday that I left Monday drove out to the like Imperial sand dunes and then Yuma, Arizona, uh, and all down in Yuma and Tucson are a lot of those old little motels. Right. So I looked some of these up online. I made a little list and then from, uh, Yuma, Tucson from Tucson, I went down to, uh, it's on my Instagram feed. The, I think it's the Longhorn. Yes, yes. Like yeah. Yeah. Yes, down to 19 on, on the way to Mexico. And it's, yeah, it's vacant. There's, there's no one there. So I got that at right. I mean, a couple hours after sunrise and I, I didn't realize monarch butterflies are yellow on the inside. I went through a monarch, a, a, a swore. They love the 55, by the way, they love my car uh, <laughs> all over the front and wrote like, oh my God. Like, I murdered them. I killed thousands of them up and I didn't realize what they were until I opened up the hood and they were on the intake manifold. They were, some Holy live ones or something. Shit. It was, yeah, they all over the windshield, the roof of the car. Um, so, anyways, went down there and then went to a to Tombstone, yep. Arizona. Yep. Um, and getting that's around. One my, that's oh, one of my. That's one of my. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful out there. Yeah, yeah so, it is. Yeah. And then took the 10 to, not the 10, wherever the highway is, uh, drove out to, not El Paso, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Yep. And from Las Cruces, I went to White Plains National uh, yeah. Monument. Mm -hmm. Had never been to White Sands by the Missile Range. Yep. And then, yep. uh, then the next day went down through El Paso and uh, Guadalupe National Park, Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Damn. And have you guys ever been to Carlsbad Caverns? No, not I have yet. not. But not I've, been, I've been down there. I've been down there, though. It is uh, – and this is a really stupid description – but remember, remember when you go to Disney World or Disneyland, and you got to wait in the two hour line, and it's oh, like I hate it, that. you got the pirates over there, and you got yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. this over there. It's like that, but it's these are natural caverns. Right, it's this right. little walkway with you know rails on each side, but you're in this not it's not human made. It's it's unbelievable yeah. that it's. I've been in, I've been in caverns like that. I just haven't been in Carlsbad. They have it, some caverns up in up in the mountains in North Carolina. And okay. they had they have some in uh, upstate New York, but I can't think of the name of them. I know there's a there's Cave when of the Wind in Colorado we Springs, yeah. Uh, but I hadn't been in years, and it's it's one of those right. places in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. But you gotta go; it's spe yeah. spectacular. Yeah. So then from yeah. there, I drove uh, into Texas, spent the night in Amarillo, and then went up to uh, um, Dallas. And in Dallas Fort Worth, that's where I got. I, I made, I don't know, a list of 20 places and it, yeah, I got all these great pictures next to these, th the signs. Yeah. Can you see this one here? It's big glare, big time. There you go. Oh, there you go. That's in uh yep. say it for me. Tukamari, Tuskahari. Tukamari. There you go. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, close to there. But yeah. TP Curios with the Route yes. 66. Um, the, the Blue Swallow Motel is there. Yep. Uh, yeah. So they're all, all, you had, all you have to do is say two. Come because it it has it is C U M. Okay. To come, Kari. To come, Kari. Hey, thank you. You just, there you go. You uh -huh. just said it. Uh -huh. To come, Kari. Yeah, to come, Kari. That's all it is. Yeah. Postcard. Yeah. Exactly. Look at that. Oh, so that is um, the last good guys I went to uh, was up in Pleasanton. Yeah. So I uh, drove up the five to um, where is it? I I took I uh the forty six. Uh, the James Dean Memorial Highway, where James yeah. Dean was killed. Yeah, uh, took that into Pasos Robles. Yeah, that's this that's is the a road. cool picture. So um, from the 101 exit Jolon Road and go west, and then at uh, Fort Leggett, that's what it is. At Fort Leggett, look for that bridge, and it's the the uh, Nascimento Ferguson Road. It's like that 20 is, to yes. 30 miles 
and it's it's two lanes. I never saw another car coming the other way, but it's sometimes it's one lane, sometimes it's a lane and a half. Really? But it is, and I happened to go through there right after a rainstorm, and there were some rock slides with rocks going over the road. It's like, <laughs> holy shit. It was, and then that, that uh, where is that? Oh, that's Pikes Peak. You, oh, no, that's uh, Guadalupe. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, correct. It's, um, Beautiful pictures, Jeff. But th thank you. But that monumental well, Ferguson like Road that. was, and at the end, there's no guardrail. You're on this one lane making these U-turns, and the Pacific Ocean's right there. PCH is right down there. It's that's crazy. Oh, it's yeah. Not it's a fantastic road. Just uh, a little bit north of Hearst Castle on PCH. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Damn so, it, uh, man. That's all. See, see, that's what makes it cool. <clears throat> you know. I, yeah, it's like you got to drive them. You got so many of these guys who've got super, super nice cars, but they just sit in the garage and they screw that. You got to drive it. Yeah, it's like what drive it. Uh, at all on on the power doors of the good guys. Like, hey, if you guys want to sign up for the uh, the burnout contest, we'd love to have you. Oh well, you know, if if I can do a burnout with that damn thing, I'm gonna burn the shit out of it. Right. Like, Once well, I get the new engine in, I got I've actually got a, my old set of Continentals. Yeah, waiting in there because I'm gonna burn the shit out of them once that new engine's in. So that you know you you'll be do, very man. successful. You know yeah, what yeah. you should. You know what you I'm should do. Photo shoot. You, you should. You should get all your pictures together and do a coffee. Do a coffee table book. Wait a minute. I started that out earlier. No, I know. I know, know, but no. But I'm saying, do, do, don't do the postcards. Do the big, the big one. Yeah. The big, you know. You know. Like. You know. Like. Not eleven yeah. by fourteen, but. An you know, something, yeah. something a little. A, a coffee book table. Remember, Matt, you remember them? Like five then, by seven, eight by ten. Yeah. Uh, the big well, side, a, little bit yeah. Bigger, a little bit bigger than eight by ten. They used to do one. It was like the size of the old Life magazines. Exact. Yes. That's it. Exactly. Do that. You do that, and then on the on on the back of every on the on the bottom of every picture, you put down where it is that it, that it was. And dude, oh, interesting. In your experience, and you, yeah. Yep. Interesting. You put down where you put down where it was. You know, you know if you can remember the highway and all that. Start cataloging oh, that yeah. shit, dude. That's the kind of book someone could put on their coffee table, and people would. It would. I guarantee you, it would motivate somebody to go. I need to go there, and they and you got to drive. You know, what I mean, it's, right. it's not the kind of it's not the kind of thing you're going to fly there. You got to drive. Right. Oh yeah. And on the front cover, just put this part of your head so your hair is showing on the cover. <laughs> Bam. Sold. That's it. <laughs> So you need just the hair. <laughs> so you need that would be a nice book though, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that'd be cool. And and yeah. and your stories with the pictures will be even better because you're not like a photographer going out shooting pictures. You're right. actually a car guy driving it, feeling it. And you know, there's pictures of the car. There's, you know, there's there's, but you're showing people that you can drive. You know, you know what I think would make a cool co cover picture. You have a picture from the. You're standing in front of the car, and you shoot it where all you see is the steering wheel and Jeff's face like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's wheel, funny. And then the face. Driving. Yep. You know what I mean? I, you know, I think that'd be cool, something like that, and that make that the cover. I saw a photo. Uh, I think it was down in Mexico. I saw it somewhere and ripped it out, and I want to replicate it. It's just the windshield, and you can see the entire dashboard of it's a it's a '55 Chevy. So I want to do that with my car. We can see my the purple sparkly steering wheel, the radio, and everything, and have the it, it's got to be the camera's got to be set up on a tripod the exact same place every time. But it's like at, at the Santa Monica Pier, or yeah, at Yosemite right. National Park, or at Welcome yeah. to California. See, that would be cool. The exact That'd same awesome. dashboard, but a different Grand yep, Canyon, different whatever. Location, is, yeah. A location well, that yeah, three two syllables. <laughs> <I'm gonna know. laughs> yes, yeah, I see that, that would be cool. cool. Too. See, okay, that would yeah. be cool. And you could actually do both books at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You what know you what I mean? You could, you could probably make a mount in the car to get your picture to where you want it. So this yeah. way you just put the camera there every time. You're yeah. not trying to get it right. It's it's made. That's you know? it. Yeah. You know, yeah. how long do you own the car for? Almost 10 years. So that'd be a, gr a great chronological story right there from the beginning. Like a timeline book. The yep. size, like you said, Lou, with the life, the old life magazines. I yeah. want one. Give me two. I need them both autographed, Jeff. Yeah, I think <laughs> it. Would, I think it would be neat, man. I think that would oh, be I really agree. neat. Oh, yeah. You know, and it, and you know what? You could get a couple. Think about it. You could get a couple of books out of that. You do one of the West, 
one in the central, and one in the east. Oh yeah, because my and I don't want to bat. This was a gift for my my sister, my yeah my sister in law, uh, and I had them all sign it on the inside, which I love. But it's not. It doesn't have. It's uh, yeah. I, it leaves a lot to be desired. And she was like, "Write one better, motherfucker." And I was like, really? "Right, okay, <laughs> really?" So you I, and I, I bet you could. I bet you could get it printed, man. Because, dude, you got some cool pictures. They're you all know, cool pictures. You, you got some really cool pictures, it, and I think and you have the story to follow it. And not oh, only that, it's okay. in a fifty. It's in a fifty-five. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's 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 not like it's a new car. It's a fifty-five. There are going to be people who look at that and go, "Yeah, I got to have this." You know what I mean? Yeah. They're just they're, they're gonna they gotta have it. That's when it, when I first pulled onto a Route 66 out of Seligman, Arizona. I I was not even pulling into it. There was a couple on a motorcycle, and uh, I I saw the the guy in front give the 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 elbow to his wife, right. and See? she whipped around with the camera and starts taking video. It's like the fuck seriously? And then all these people on in Seligman are. Dude, it's a fifty-five nomad, not a nomad, motherfucker. Yeah, not a nomad. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's not a nomad, uh, right? But but, a, but see, I mean, it makes a difference, it was, man. It makes it, the car makes the difference. Like All when right, I, I got to get to work on this. When I drove my suburban up to Maine a couple of times, we're we're running across on the Cross Bronx Expressway, cutting into Connecticut. Dude, people would come up alongside that thing and just slow down and okay. just look at it. You know, it, it was crazy because you don't see that stuff. No one drives that shit around. That's why you got to build something that drives. Hal Caverns. That's what Al said. That's what it is. Hal Caverns in New York. Oh, that's Hal it. Caverns. Yeah. There you go. Hal okay. Caverns in New York. Yep. That's the one we went to when we were kids. But yeah, man, that that's, I think that would be a really cool book. Mm -hmm. Really. Cool. And you can, okay. you, you, you can do the tribute to me. If it wasn't for Lou, if it wasn't for <laughs> Lou squared, you, the two Lou's. <laughs> the two lose. The two lose and Tori. Two lose. If it wasn't for the two lose, two lose, two, lose squared and Tori. <laughs> I'll help. I'll, don't worry. I'll do my part. <laughs> I think like the, that would be two really lose, cool, two man. Because you all got right. you got a shitload of pictures up there, and most of them are you traveling, and, and they're, they're all and they're awesome pictures. pictures. Yeah. yeah, right. That's it's what not I'm, like I'm, you just I'm, took a weird picture. All of them like look like a professional. Shot <laughs> Jeff, what do I tell you all the time? You don't take a bad picture. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, thanks, I mean, every single one of them. If I had enough walls, I'd frame every single one right. of them. Right. Right. Drives me nuts. They lose. I, I got Jeff's one of those pictures, pictures are like that. Awesome. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, boy, this was the family awesome show. Like right? <laughs> <laughs> don't FC see the nephew see that, Jeff. FCC right? is yeah. coming to get us. <laughs> hey, I gotta steer the ship in another way here. Try to clean this act up a little bit. <laughs> Kevin from KM Metal Polishing sent out a question to Jeff on Instagram. He said, Hey, can you ask Jeff the story of the picture, the cover picture on his Facebook page? He uh, wants to know where it was taken and how. He likes the picture a lot. Oh, I just got Facebook that too. Page? <laughs> uh, page. Which. Let me look. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm cheating too. Again, Jeff, you take so many pictures, I can't keep track. I know every one of them is awesome. Oh, though, so. okay. So a uh, a buddy of mine wants me to do a a pilot of this TV show, Drives Like a Girl. Um, so we go down to San Diego and meet his friend Atlante, and she's got this beautiful little Corvair. And, you know, it's got the rear engine. It's a convertible. It's a cream puff. Um, just had it rebuilt by this guy. And we do this, this shoot the whole day. And at one point, I forget the name of the bridge, but uh, from Mission Bay, going over this bridge, he gets this rolling shot, and he posts it, I don't know, a week later. And I see the post, and I'm like, dude, when are we <laughs> doing? So that's that's the so that's the picture that that the that, that uh, Tori the guy was asking about yeah mm -hmm. right right here so so I text my buddy I'm like dude when are we gonna use or when are we gonna get a picture of a you know my car he's like how about this way at Thursday and it was it was Tuesday two days but when and where downtown L A six p m uh okay fantastic <laughs> go there meet him <laughs> uh, we get some dinner. And it's dark out. Like, uh, don't we need light for this shit? Don't worry, Jeff. It's all right. Just, just follow me. 
And uh, we got, I think it was like six different locations. One of them was a rolling shot across the 6th Street or 1st Street Bridge with downtown LA in the background. One of them was, uh, uh, and that's, I think, the 1st Street Tunnel. So we were we waited for the, all the traffic to go. And then once all the traffic went through the light, he had his buddy driving his MDX. He stood up through the, the sunroof in his car had a LED, I had an LED light sitting next to me on a pillow, so you can get, I guess, a little bit of my yeah, my yeah, taste yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And he, uh, one of my headlights was off in the picture, so he took, in he fixed it in post where he took a, a yep. copy of the left headlight and put it put in the, the right. Yeah, like whoa, whoa, whoa. again, <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, Photoshop. So in, yeah. in I think two or three days, I got these six pictures, and it's like, you know, buddy, what do I owe you? It's like, oh, this is these are stills, Jeff. This is easy. Videos where the money's at. <laughs> well, seriously, so I got that, and that's I use that as my business card. It's yeah. I love that rolling shot. It's I mean, it's yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, oh, I agreed. Yeah, one of the other shots uh, a friend of mine took. This was a uh, downtown LA. Yeah, that's cool too. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, the grill on that car is just awesome too. I love the stance. I love the grill. Oh, uh, yeah, Corvette grill. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm at, yeah, I'm driving it tomorrow, so I'm uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> I can't wait to get less motor in. That's going to be just oh. unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, the same guy you took. Yeah. Okay. Now I got to find the rolling shot of that Corvair. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing me. I look for more pictures too. I mean, it's a pleasure. Right. What the heck. <laughs> You know, I really want to do an older car and be able to drive it like that. Uh, just... Oh, yeah. What it do you want me so... to find you, Lewis? Hmm? Play your order. Yeah. Write a check. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny to me how I'll be at some of these national parks or some of these places across the nation. Can I take a picture of your car? It's like, you should be taking a picture of the Grand Canyon, but and of course. Yeah. Would you go out in front of the Grand yeah. Canyon and they get the best of both worlds? Yeah, That's but I it, mean, yeah. because people, I'm telling you, people don't, people don't see that stuff driving on the road, man. You really, they don't see it. That's what's so cool about it. You know, to, to build that thing and drive it. That's so awesome. Let's see. Here is. Oh, that's the good guys. Can that's you see the good that? Guys, yeah. Yep. There's yeah. a Corvair. That's there's a good Corvair. shot. That's Isn't a that a great shot? Yeah, great shot. love the rolling shot, but it was yeah, yeah. up on the bridge. Like, when are we doing it? So, and yeah, he got me gold. <laughs> that's so. awesome that's awesome it really is and that's what's nuts is in this day and age with these stupid phones you get great shots uh -huh. oh saguaro national park that's so yeah oh speaking of which this beautiful. is beautiful geez coming in it, in june my uh my america the beautiful park pass runs out so i'm gonna have to get a new one they should that's give awesome. you one for all the beautiful pictures you take i was i i, I don't know who to email but i was uh, my friend jessica told me to email them about doing a. Uh, a campaign for the National Park Service. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, you should. They'd probably pay. You. They'd probably That's what she was you. saying. Yeah. Because I got, what is it? Uh... You have all the pictures already. They don't have to do any of the work. Yeah. Get the all book done. done. Send them the book. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's, copy of the book. America the Beautiful Park Pass. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah I've heard nice. of them, but I never had one. I've heard of them. It now. was. Either seventy-five or eighty. If you go to three parks, you're in the money. And I've got eight. I did. I've done eighteen parks on this thing. <laughs> That's all awesome. in the money. That's awesome. So how did how did you uh, how did you plan your trip? I mean, what 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 was what did you do? Just look up national parks and figure out where they were, and then just tr figure out what your 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 trek was. I mean, well, for like with auto shows. I, they wouldn't let me – you could drive, but they're not going to pay for the big drive. So I flew right. a lot. So instead of flying to the good guys, if I can drive out to Dallas, why, why the hell not? Right. So, Dude, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, and I get paid for it. So it's it's all – make an adventure out of it. And my, yeah. I might as well look up some cool shit to see along the way. Of course. Um, yeah, so it's like one of the things on the list is uh, my dad and I watched uh, it, no, no Country for Old Men. Is that yep. it? Yep. Yep. It's down in Big Bend National Park, way down in Texas. Uh, so that's uh, hopefully later this year or next year I, I want to get out there. But uh, otherwise, it's just uh, like a means to an end. If I got to, the, I got to go to the good guys up by San Francisco. So 
instead yeah. of flying, I might as well drive. I've got my car up there. Right, and, right, uh, right. Last, was it March or April? Whenever the hell it was, the last good guys. Um, Arlen Ness had just passed, and his museum mm -hmm. is like right across the highway from where we stay. So I got to go see that. And then, have you heard of the Black Hawk Museum in Danville? I've mm -hmm. heard of it, but I've never. I don't. I don't. I've never been there. I never, I don't know where it's at. I've 17 heard of it, minutes up the road, I went and they there was a convention of girls there. Oh my god! So it was complimentary. To, it was free to get in that day, so it was a Christmas miracle again. <laughs> All, you know what I mean? And is that, I got to see the Danville, and then in um, I'm going. I don't have anything to do on Friday, so on Friday I'm going down to a Scotts Valley, and I need to call them first. But uh, I, I think it's C A N A P A Canapa. Um, they restore, they restore basically old race cars and make them streetable, make them live at Laguna Seca, uh, that kind of stuff. And they oh, do, that's cool. it's insane. I've seen videos of it. I've seen, they, they've got a wall full of these race cars like Bruce Meyer, but I mean, of vintage cars. Um, so I need to go that's see this so place. Oh, cool. Yeah. In Scott's Valley. Um, have you, um, have you ever, I don't even know if it still exists, but I know at one time in New Mexico, they had a state highway, and its number was six six six. That, uh, no, they have all the signs have been stolen, from what I understand. And wow. I thought that was Utah. It might have been. I always thought it was New Mexico. It's one of the two, but yeah, from what I've read, all if they ever put up one of the signs, it gets stolen uh, very quickly, very soon thereafter. But I thought it was, yeah, um, I thought it was somewhere in Utah. Yeah, Route six six six. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Google thought, it. Okay, yeah, because I think it's close to the Four Corners, um, in southeastern Utah. Um, let's see here. Hey, do I even have my? I don't have my road atlas. It's in the car, which is a good place. Yeah, my, mine's in there too. Unexplained phenomenon of Highway Six Six Six. Um, does it say where it's? Looking to see where it says where it says it's at. Uh, the road starts in Monticello State in, in Monticello in Utah and ends in the city of Gallup, New Mexico. So it's okay. both. Oh. So it's both. Okay. Yeah, and and actually it had a number. It said four ninety one, and then underneath it said former six six six. So they rena they renamed it because the signs kept on getting stolen. Yeah, wow. they renamed. It. Yeah. Yeah. So what we need see that's see that's something we need to it's like well you know when it would be a good time to do that when we go out to SEMA. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Go to SEMA, we run we we, we run six six six. And have have you been down uh, Monument Valley Highway? No. All right. You know it from Forrest Gump and Easy Rider. Um it's yeah. that yeah. Highway yeah. 163 going from Arizona into Utah at mile marker 13. It it's you turn around, it's like oh. That it's th those it's that whole yeah it's that shot yeah um, but high, yeah highway one sixty three if you do end up going up that way uh, to six 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 it's right in that vicinity I'm gonna Post have to sit down I'm gonna have to sit down here and get some highway numbers oh yeah when yeah. you you'll know when you're gonna go I'll give you hope yeah I'll give you some good routes yeah yeah we yeah. all should meet in Chicago and and yeah. roll well I mean yeah. I, I I drive to SEMA every year so I mean I'll be I, I've been driving there for the last twelve years. Now you're gonna get every, your buddy too. You're you're taking the Kenworth. Well, we that we're gonna. I think we're gonna try that this year. I think we're gonna try it this year because he he wants to go out to SEMA this year. So I got to get him credentials. And the only way it makes sense for him to to, to go is to get a load out there. Okay. So I'm gonna get my permit and make it happen. That's what I'm gonna try and do. Last right. year, last year we couldn't do it just because the way the time worked out. I just I couldn't. He had to leave earlier because he had got he was gonna get a good load out there, but it was a week early and it was. I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I just, I just, I couldn't go out there and hang out in Vegas for a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, with that kind of attitude. It's tough. It's tough. So I just got to do it, you know? Yeah. But I might do that, but I'll, I'll be ready. And if not, I'll just drive. I'll just make the drive. Cause I'm, I'm either going to take my, I'll either see if I can't get the suburban ready or take my S10. Do my extended cab S10 that goes everywhere. There you go. What's four roll. three in that? Nah, man, it's got a two two with four hundred thousand miles on it. Two two, yeah. Two two kind, with a five kind of, speed. 
What kind of oh a five speed? What kind of mileage? Thirty? It's no, it, it, I don't know what it gets for mileage. It's good though. I have no yeah. idea what it gets. Extended cab. Just drive, man. Just rolling it. Last year, you know, you know, I, I can't. I'm not even throwing him under the bus. I mean this with with all the respect. You know, Cotton, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I so tagged Cotton, all the stuff, so hopefully he's watching. Yeah, Cotton's got that HHR. Yeah. He shows up at the Carcraft Summer Nationals in this HHR. With all the the window or none of the windows in the back, it's a panel. It's a panel. Like, yeah, th thirty three miles per gallon. I sleep in the sub bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah. get it, man. I get so, it. So it, it's it's on my Instagram somewhere. I got called out. This guy, uh, Blake Evans, is doing this ALS thing, and he's he's got a, a, a four door fifty seven wagon, and he's doing a, a forty eight state thing in the in this in this in, in this car, and. He likes my wagon. I like his wagon. And on my way out to the good guys, uh, I in one I sleep in Walmart parking lots in my car. And somebody texted him a picture of my car in I a parking lot. And yeah, the next morning I get this text. He's like, "Is this you, Jeff? It looks like your car." And it's like it's got a blue blanket in the front windshield. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> calling me out on social media it's like holy shit yeah so it's a it's kind of funny it stands out a little bit <laughs> dude you, you know man i tell you man you need to you need to get uh the flying j card pilot flying j okay you, you need to get their card get some showers on it and and crash in those lots whenever you can yeah. okay because because you can get a shower in the morning and everything nice yeah Flying J's typically have Denny's tied to them. Okay. You know, the, the pilots, the pilots usually have like an Arby's or a Wendy's, but I try to, I try to stay at a Flying J, okay. and in that way, and and they don't bother you because it's a truck stop. You yeah. know. Well, the, and, the and, Walmart's yeah. are good. Some of them have nice lounges too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, like, if you want to get out of the car and watch some TV, you go yep. to Trucker's Lounge. Yep. Watch TV. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like doing a, I don't like doing a Walmart parking lot because I had an incident in one. You know, really? what do you mean? Yeah, I had an incident in one. Had some guys wanted to rob me. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, I've had a few good wow. incidents. You, you haven't watched the video, YouTube yeah, video, of people getting robbed <laughs> at Walmart parking lots? Yeah, I've had a few. Good oh, incidents. you're killing me. Are you no, serious? I've had a, I'm serious. Yeah. I've had a few good incidents. Incidents in in traveling. Oh, okay. All right. Oh yeah. Wow. All right. Listen, go to that. YouTube and Google uh, Walmart. Til there you go. Pilot Flying J, yeah, 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 okay. That's the one. I know those. Holy yeah. Shit. In Walmart yeah, parking yeah. lot. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, thanks. And, and, well, I don't know if, I don't know what the, I have a professional driver card. I told, you know, because they, they, they know I drive. So the, the one by my house, they know I drive. So they gave me a professional driver's card. But um, I would, I would see if you can get a professional driver's card. I don't know if they're. You get points and all that, but not only that, you um, I don't know what the regular card, but every time I fill up, I get three cents off. Oh, nice. Three cents is three cents. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. And on the app, you stay if you use the app, they have like free drinks and they got all kinds of stuff all the time. Yeah, it's it's well worth it. To and make, I believe you know, a lot of them have security too. Well, see, I just want to yeah, go a lot and go of them to do I, have security. I, I want to go to the truckers lounge. I mean that just yeah, sounds yeah. cool and surly and yeah, hang out I with the truckers. Dude, I'm telling you, yeah. it's I'm gonna wear a flannel you know, shirt. I, you know where you gotta go is uh. Well, I'm serious. I'm Iowa truck stop. Iowa 80 truck stop. It's the biggest truck stop in the world, dude. Yeah, we, just, we did we did on the power <coughs> tour a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, it's no joke. I was the only adult who got up in you know that big yellow uh, Kenworth. Yeah, they yeah. have inside. I was the only one who climbed up in the cabin plane. They Jeff, get out of there! I'm like, dude, this is a, this is a badass semi. <laughs> it's got all the dials on. It's like, holy shit! I think it's like Star Trek. <laughs> Press every one of them. Yeah, that. Oh, that, that thing, yeah. I was like the yeah. snowman in that thing. Papa, <laughs> Papa Squirrel just said. Papa Squirrel in, in the chat room said people tried to steal a running generator from his friend's trailer at Walmart. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! It was running. Oh, oh yeah, man. <laughs> Look at that, Jeff. I'm from Martinsville. Do not. Do not sleep in a Martinsville parking lot, Walmart parking lot. Oh my God! Wow, a running generator. Wow, yeah, that what? takes brass. Why do the lights go off? <laughs> Al Handy, Walmart wow. parking lots is sketchy. Seriously, yeah. man. I mean, I yeah, seriously. I, I had no idea. I, I mean, I drive. I drive like you do. 
I drive everywhere I go. I, I, I do like you do. And I, I go to truck lot, truck, uh, truck stops. That's where I go. And I usually okay. try, I usually try to go to the bigger ones. There's some, there's a lot of small ones along the way, but a lot of times I'll, I'll do a Petro flying J TA loves. I do a okay. lot. And the re, and you know, for personally, I do it because you, you got the shower and everything, you know I mean? You, you bought, you can get some, nice you get a, towels. They yeah, they're clean. Yeah. All you do is walk in there with your douche kit, the towels in there and everything, man. Boom. Take a shower. Wow. Nice. 12 bucks for a shower. The other thing, the other thing you can do if you have, a, if you're a member of the YMCA and now all the YMCAs are linked. So if you're a member in, in North Carolina, you can go to one in California. Okay. You can take, yeah. you can take showers at YMCAs too. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I've Kyle was telling me to get a, a Planet Fitness or 24 hour fitness membership. It's like, uh, I was using Walmart, but now, now I'm sketched out by it. Yeah, man. It should yeah. be. Jeff, you know what yeah. I do? Uh, I go to Holiday Inns all the time. So in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, I try to make that like my uh, midway stop. Yeah. I go in there. I say hello to whoever's in the front desk. They all know me. I'll yeah. see a few hours in the lot. I'll get some coffee. That's the way to do it. In the morning, and I'm on my way. They don't mind? No. Well, I stay there a lot, though. I stay there for you know all the Carlisle events, you know, for the Chevy okay. National, for spring and fall Carlisle. And we've been staying there for years and years, so they know me there. So uh, I just walked in for a cup of coffee, and I spent like three hours just to kind of unwind and decompress. They were good. Tori, how you doing? Hey, what's, I, I knew everybody there. It was very good. Cool. Oh, yeah. They were on the red carpet. At. They're very hospitable over there. So yeah, Pilot uh, Flying J. Yeah, geez. Hey, good. And like I said, they have the Denny's there, and uh, they're so nice in there, too. Yep. My rewards, okay. Yeah, but see my see how mine says professional driver on the top. That's the one you want, the professional driver one, because I think I'm pretty sure that one gets better benefits than the other one. Okay. And the only reason why I the only reason why I got it was I, I had a regular one, and um, my card wasn't working. They get I got the one here, my card wasn't working, and I was in. I think I was in Tennessee. And. The manager recognized me because I had been in there so much, and he said, "He said to me, he said, he said, how come you don't have a professional driver's card?" I said, "Because I'm, you know, I said I don't drive rigs anymore." He goes, "Look, man." He goes, "Do you log how much? How many miles do you log?" He said, "I log easily a hundred thousand. You're a professional driver, and he gave, <laughs> I've had it ever since." Wow, nice. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I do, and that, that's and it works, man. And you can. It's tied to the it's tied to the app, so you get all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, I yeah, you have to call it the app. It's good. What would you do with that? It's like yeah, you. Get, I just found out the Chipotle app. You can order it. <laughs> I didn't know Chipotle had an app. I didn't need it until last week, and now I, it's hooked up to my Apple Pay. It's like I show up and it's ready. There's a, the lines a mile long, and I just walk up and take it off the little rack and walk out. People are like, who is this mother? So, yeah, and you get points. Yeah. And it's the, the app on these things. Chick fil A, too. Same thing, Jeff. Right. Except they they're not the open app. on Listen, Sunday. I know. Oh. I, and I, every I, time I, I want them, it, it seems like it's a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I played my last trip to Lou on a Sunday, and Chick fil A was closed. So I wanted to put Roy Rogers for breakfast, which wasn't bad either. So uh, uh, I really want Chick fil A. <laughs> it's so funny. But the, the Whataburger chicken sandwich. <laughs> Listen, you guys got to check out the Dash um, app where they bring food to your house from any restaurant in your local area. Really? Are you kidding me? I, I just, I just, it's like Uber. Wait a minute, I'm trying really? to find a card. I just, oh my god, I just did it yesterday. Right? You go on that on their website and you you punch in what what food you want to eat, like uh, Italian, Mexican, right, right, whatever, right. and it pulls up all the restaurants like in a in a five mile radius of your house. Oh my god! And then you you order the food. Their menu comes up. You order the food, and and they bring it. Somebody goes and picks it up for you and brings it to your house. I did it twice. Yeah. I did it today and yesterday. That's no fun because you know when I go and get South Pizza, 
I go in there, I say hello to Vito and Nemo and Joe. <laughs> and my wife's like, you were gone for an hour. Where were you? I was getting the pizza. Where else did you go? I was getting the Nemo, pizza. Vito, <laughs> Joe. Yeah. <laughs> they were all there. I was about they're, hour. they're all there. You got Joey two times. <laughs> <laughs> get the papers. Get the papers. Oh, yeah. my God. That's hysterical. <laughs> You're killing me. What, what kind of pizza do you get there? Oh, the grandma pie is just out of this world. <laughs> what, 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 what's in the grandma pie? The grandma pie, it's a homemade tomato and basil sauce on there. Okay. With fresh mozzarella on the top. Jeff, I'm telling you, find a JFK, I'll pick you up. Well, but yeah, drive the this 55. Is, so it's out. just a cheese pizza, that's it? And it's one of the best <laughs> you've ever had. Really? There's no pepperoni, no... Uh... Oh, oh, wait. If you want toppings, you Put eggplant on it. The eggplant is is divine. Eggplant. Oh, really oh yeah. Delivering goods. Oh, delivering good. Door uh -oh, dash. Cotton, Cotton is listening. <laughs> Cotton is listening. He'll see, ah, he's going to see on the power tour kickoff. Excellent. And I will see you there, my friend. Cotton in the house in the PT. The, the HHR King of St. Louis. Yeah, call, go ahead. Call it a PT Cruiser. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't catch that. It's all these acronyms now, man. <laughs> it's only amongst the four of us. Don't worry. No one else heard. Yeah. yeah. It's only amongst the four. It's only us. <laughs> oh, it's only four of us. Nobody else heard. Oh, wait. This ain't the green room? Uh oh, we may have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Pepperoni and pineapple. I say I can go, I'll go the Canadian bacon and, and pineapple, but. Uh, Usually just pepperoni. Yeah, pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. I'm sorry. I don't care where you're from. Pe pepperoni, uh, pe pineapple does not belong on a pizza. Oh, sure it does. I used to think no. barbecue chicken didn't, but barbecue chicken pizza is pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is. I really? What are, you, what are you laughing at? See, Cotton thinks I'm funny because I, I love chicken. Uh, you know, the, the chili boneless chicken tenders? I love that shit. Well, those are good. Those are good. Like, that's kid that. food. I'm like, that, that's delicious food. Oh, no, it is. it ain't good food. It's good food. It's good. Yeah, it's comfort food. I respectfully disagree. I, I Yeah, definitely, for sure. Because <laughs> no matter what state you're in traveling, you know, you can always get some good chicken tenders. Yeah, My buddy. kids have all ages eat chicken tenders, so just yep. saying. <laughs> hey, Jeff, that's the black in your family coming up. That's it. <laughs> that and the uh, I like. Hey, you soda. know, you know what, Jeff? You might be up for repar uh, reparation. <laughs> what, yeah. I want forty acres and a mule. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lou, if you ever run for president, look, you got your cabinet right here. <laughs> yeah, <I'm telling> yeah. <laughs> well, it's diverse. <laughs> hey, I'm sergeant of arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! <laughs> Hey, Lou, he in California, Jeff. He doesn't live in California. <laughs> Cotton said he's uh, still waiting for the mule. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lou, can we have Joe a job there as the head of security or what? <laughs> we get someone a job there for head of security. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did you say, Jeff? I'm sitting in the house with a gun. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're paying to be with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, when I put my shoes on, I put my gun on, and when I go to bed and take my shoes off, I take my gun off. <laughs> yeah. Man, what, what is it? This is Smith and Weston. Which one I got on? Nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff. I, I had to think about what I'm wearing. <laughs> See, it's like shoes. When you're wearing Depends a certain your outfit, mode? you gotta yeah, you gotta you wear a different gun. <laughs> Have you, you heard of, a, of Cabot? Yeah. C a b o t. Okay. Uh, I, I followed them on uh, on Instagram, and I've I want to. I want to caress one of their 1911s. It's <laughs> supposed to, from what I've heard, it's supposed to be like like a digital SLR camera because all the tolerances are in like aerospace. Perfect. Yeah. Zero 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 one. So it's like I want to I want to hold one of these things and feel the action on that damn thing. Yeah. yeah Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know where we need to go is to Jesse James. He's building oh! some monsters. <laughs> the billet or not billet? The uh, Damascus. Damascus. Yeah. He's building them, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I want to go just play in a shop, just touch stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to touch any of it because I'm going to get hurt. I want to watch. <laughs> I want to watch uh, the master do his, the Pope of Welding do his shit. Yeah, yeah he um, can weld. Yeah, yeah he we can. Need, we need to go through there for sure. He's well, doing. Uh, he's doing kitchen knives too. Yeah, do you it's follow him on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. How nuts is that? I remember mean, one of the things he's got these these old machines that bat the bashing machines. I don't even know what they're Power called. Hammer. Power hammer, okay. yeah. Power hammer, yeah. Power hammer. He's a bashing machine. <laughs> it's a Yoda. They, he's got a couple. Of, I think his. I think his is a double-headed power uh, Yoda. 
Okay. It's a Yoda power hammer. I think it's a double head, I think. I don't remember. I remember seeing it on TV. But they're I don't old, know but I bet you they're still going for a hundred grand easy. Oh, yeah, dude, the, those old ones are. Yeah, I remember he was a. Uh, I don't think it was a biker build off. I think it was one of the, one of the shows before biker build off. He was talking about it, and he said it was from like 1929 or some crazy shit. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, it was like it was. Yeah, it was old, ridiculously old. Yeah, because like, one of the videos he just posted, uh, somebody was getting rid of all of his stuff and he offered Jesse one of these machines and it had a, some sort of elevator motor in it, but it was, it twisted mm -hmm. this metal into, into like a braid or whatever. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you could heat bar stock and it'll, it'll yeah. spin it. Yeah. My dad made one of them. Yeah. My oh, dad really? Made, yeah. My dad was an iron worker and whenever, whenever they would strike cause they were trying to break the union, he would make railings and stuff like that in the garage. No way. Yeah. That's what he that did. Badass. Jeff, yeah. check this out. Lou's That's dad, he was involved in building the original World Trade Center and the Freedom yeah. Tower. No way. No, my dad didn't the Freedom Tower. He was gone by then. But oh, I'm sorry. Dad, well, I'm sorry. He wasn't gone. He was. He was. He wasn't working anymore because he was so beat up. Gotcha. But my dad, my dad did Twin Towers, Madison Square Garden, the old the old Yankee Stadium, Aqueduct Raceway, uh, Belmont Park. Oh wow! And uh, he did a bunch. Of, he did a bunch of the New York skyline. My dad, he walked, he walked beams and then he came off the beams and went into the shop. Dude, th like th those pictures of back in the day, yeah. those guys up there with their Eat lunch. lunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no thanks. No. Yeah. Walking beams. It was, it was funny because, you know, the, uh, my dad, I remember a few times we'd go down into Manhattan and see him for lunch and everybody would be in a bar drinking. And my dad would say, the only way to get an Irishman up on the beams is to get him drunk. These fucking guys <laughs> would have a hydraulic lunch. Wow. wow. Yeah, they'd be they'd be drinking at lunch and then go walk beams. Yeah, and that was when and that was when OSHA was was wasn't even around. <laughs> That's why you, we have OSHA now. Yeah. Oh, you would, what you would do, what what you would do, Jeff, is like if it was me and you working, we would tie a rope around our waist, like a six foot long rope between us. And if you fall to the right, I jump to the left. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> I'm gonna, hey, I'm, you really gotta trust your buddy. He might untie us though. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Can I can I can I borrow that line? Hydraulic lunch. I've never heard oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hydraulic <laughs> lunch. I love it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then um, and then they had a, we had a uh, oh god damn it! I lost my train of thought. It went away. It left. I, I was just gonna say something. Steel workers. Well, he, he workers. He did it. He did it for like thirty. Uh, God, I think almost thirty years. He did it for a long time. God bless him. <clears> he did it for a long time. Yeah, but he did. He did a bunch of the skyline. Oh, and he also when they redid the Statue of Liberty. That's what I was going to say. Oh, wow. when they redid the Statue of Liberty, he helped on that too. Wow. So is he one of the guys? Was he around long enough? Like back in the day when they did the the rivet and the bucket, that kind of stuff. Yes, he started out as a as as a rivet catcher. Oh my God. What they did, you had you had a buckman. The buckman had had the had like a little jackhammer, you know, to to, to peen over the rivet, and then you had a guy standing there with a with an asbestos catcher's mitt, essentially, and then he had a set of tongs. So you would stand on the beam. The buckman the buckman would sit down most of the time because it was right where the where the joint was. You know, you'd have two of them meet, so it'd be at the joint. So the rivet catcher would stand there. Then you had a guy, he might be two store, two floors down because they didn't want to move the fire all the time. So they'd get like two, three floors up. But he'd have the fire going, get the rivets hot. He would grab them with a tong. And the tongs were like two, two and a half feet long. He'd grab it with the tongs and then he'd sling it up to you. You catch it, you take your rivets, put it out, jam it in the hole in the buckman. Bah! Wait for another one to come up. Wow. That's how my dad started doing that. As a rivet catcher. Yeah, as a rivet catcher. A literal trial by fire. Yeah. And you stop right. and think about it. You're standing on like a fucking 8 to 10 inch wide beam. Mm. <laughs> with, That's no, crazy. With, with maybe a rope. <laughs> yeah. With, with maybe a rope, you know. Catching, yeah, scar my, catching red hot, yellow hot rivets. Yeah. 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 I thought climbing a 100 foot ladder was crazy. Yeah. You, got you ever want to see, I don't know if it's still on, but if you ever want to see some really cool footage, um, go on Amazon and it was on Prime a few months ago. The uh, the Mohawk Iron Workers. That's okay. that's the tribe of Mohawks out of Canada. That they're world they're world renowned for doing 
high steel work. Like they, like they've done. I think they did the Petronos Towers in Singapore. I mean, like these guys, it, they've done. They get brought into foreign countries to do serious beam walking. But oh, there's wow. an actual picture of of one of them standing on the, the the top when they when they set the antenna on the World Trade Center's mooning the camera. Yeah, I mean, like these, you got you got to watch it. It's some really cool stuff. They got you see them, you see them just heel towing up beams. You know, it's it's just nuts. <clears throat> yeah. 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 I'm not afraid it, of heights. I'm afraid of falling. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's just something stop that gets you every time. <laughs> it. Don't fall over the ground stopped. will get you. It's yeah. very abrupt. It's not very it soft either. <laughs> Tori post Tori posted a link for native Brooklyn iron workers. Oh nice. Yeah. There's some really it, there's some cool history there, man. <clears throat> there's some serious history doing that shit. And I mean, and you know, when you stop and think about it, man, you know, those, they used to get in a basket and they'd crane them up to their, to the floor. So they didn't have to walk <laughs> and they'd be all hanging off the damn basket going up to the, going up to their floor. <laughs> and then they, they'd get off on a little platform and, and walk the beams. <laughs> it's like in some of those pictures, I just went to the, uh, I'd been there plenty of times before, but the, the Hoover Dam. Like yeah. on the way out to see my stop the Hoover Dam and that, what a what a marvel that is, dude! I bought the CD. They have a yeah. CD it, like nineteen bucks. I bought it. It's 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 just and that wh old footage. Where, where'd you get it? At at the Hoover Dam. But where? At the, um, at the damn gift shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> at, the, at the damn gift shop. Yeah, oh, the was, park yeah. rangers there hated me. <laughs> Hard mister, can you tell me where the damn gift shop is? Where's the damn commissary? <laughs> Where's the damn tour guide? I they, they they just love me. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I didn't think right <laughs> yeah, it's no fun. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I still you. remember back when the History Channel first started and that Modern Marvels. Yes. Yeah, that, yes. The, the Hoover Dam. Yeah. Yes. I love that stuff. This stuff is so awesome, man. It's so awesome. Now you, you can't come get out people and, to fucking do anything. Yeah, instead of the suburban, you gotta uh customize your Kenworth. Oh, I dude! Gonna, I, I trust you're gonna me. bag one or something. Yeah, when I get this show going, yeah, I'm stretching one. I'm gonna bag. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't don't worry. <laughs> A little tuck and roll interior, maybe. It's gonna be game on. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be game on. <laughs> so wanna, that's, that's what I want to do more than anything else now. That's 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 the top of my bucket list. I'm gonna build a slammed Kenworth. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Get me, do me. I'm, I'm really thinking about. I'd like to do a B model, but here, you know, let me see if I can't find it. When I was looking, when I was looking for yours, it was a. Uh, there was this A model that there was some video of. This thing was nice. God, it was nice. There's some nice trucks out there rolling now, man. I see them all the time. I'm like, wow. Oh yeah. Custom. Oh, and all the trucks now, uh, they're all tied up to uh, to the cyborg system. And oh, if yeah. they're on for more than I think it's fifteen or thirty seconds, 13. they start thirteen. Okay, they start 13. logging. Yeah. So it, and it, if you're if you're yeah. over, I think it's two and a half miles an hour or whatever, they start logging. Yeah. So you can't cheat the system, or whatever it is anymore. There, I mean, it's oh, it's dude, big it's brother. such a racket. It's such it's it's all big brother. Yeah. It's one of the most it's one of the most heavily regulated industries, and and. They need to. They really need to start passing stuff that makes sense. Quite honestly. Oh yeah. Speaking of that <laughs> industry, and as much as I admire and and respect all those guys, what is it about the five freeway, and from San Francisco to L.A. and then from L.A. out to it's like Phoenix, the truckers see me coming, and pull right the fuck in front of me, right <laughs> in front of me. I'm going ninety. <laughs> well, I'm going sixty-five. Sorry. They pull in front of me going 55 for it and block me. It's like, guys, you're killing me. Yeah. And it seems like it's it's open road forever right until they see me coming and they, they get out. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because California has so many restrictions on truckers. They're pissed. So they're yeah. going to make everybody else be pissed too. <laughs> yeah. Misery loves makes, company, huh? Sense. When I hauled cars out there, I would stop at the border and have them pick them up at the border. I would not go into California. Is this too, too I don't much? I blame you. <clears throat> it's ridiculous in California. Yeah, yeah. Any of the, any of the laws that are are all over the country, they start out in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
It's ridiculous. That's why, uh, you know, there's an ass load of people leaving that state because of all that bullshit. Yeah. It really yeah, is. Yeah, all yeah. the good people leave. What's going to happen to the state then? Eh, it's just going to get worse. Yeah. It's, al- it's, I mean, it's already bad. So it's just screwed up. Where is it? We have nice weather, though. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, but- it's, uh, it's, it's very pleasant weather. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, right? Yeah. You're right. It's got it's got nice weather, but yeah, I wouldn't want to stay there. Yeah, Jeff, you're in California right now. Uh, that's where you live in California permanently, or you go back and forth to Colorado? I so yeah, I'm from Colorado, but I live in LA. Gotcha. Uh, I've been contemplating moving back to Colorado for years now, and it's never come to fruition. We'll see what the hell happens. It's like my, gotcha. I love love watching my nieces and nephew grow up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so. Yeah, I know you're the proud uncle always posting, you know. I know your niece, you know, she's uh, involved in martial arts, which I think is which is which is awesome, you know. So uh my kids, all four of them, you know, they're involved with that. And uh you're just a typical proud uncle. And I I love, you know, reading the (laughs) posts and reading about the kids and stuff like that, you know. Uh then your niece is a skier also, right? Yeah, yeah. They all uh, yeah, the three Alex Avery, Andrew, the two girls and the one boy, they all ski. And Andrew is five, and my brother was just telling me that he has, uh, I think he's ranked third nationally in slope style for us. Uh, no way! For either seven or eight year olds and under. Yeah, Dude, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so he's right. got a he's got a few more years, and he's and from what I've heard, um, he can do a three sixty now, and no other five year old or six year old in that category can do a three sixty. So he may. Anyways, it's it's. Uh, I'm not competitive. I just uh, I, I just want them to have fun, and they're they're awesome little kids. That's so he's awesome. the bar, basically. Then he is the oh, yeah. bar. That's yeah. awesome. God bless him. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I'd be real proud of him. Yeah. So they, uh, my niece, who's a uh, uh, the oldest niece, convinced them. Oh, come on! That's like the snowman. I like yeah. that. Red that's and black. A, that's, that's an A model oh. Kenworth. What year? Um, it's an A model. I don't know what year it is. Well, I don't know what a model means. You sound like a Freiburger and his damn Jeeps. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they make different models. There's an L model. There's an A model. There's a B okay. model. And each one of them, each one of them, is specific to itself. Like an L model has a really long hood. They and then they make they make B models. A lot of times they'll make them for different things. Like a lot of your B oh. models that you see might be dump trucks. So the B model isn't from from 1910s and 1920s. No, they're, make, they're have... making B models now. I, okay, 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 okay. Like okay. my friend had an 85 B model, and they just released a new B model the other the the 2020 B model the other day. Okay, you know, but they have B models, L models. A lot of ones, a lot of the ones you see on the road now are L models. They just are the Kenworths, and then you know the Peterbilts are 379s, 359s, 358s. That's that tells you what model truck it is. Okay. You know what? Yeah, and they all have their own little their own little things. But the A model is older. I don't think they make A models anymore. But the A models they made in the '60s, the '70s, in the '80s. But the cab is physically smaller. It's not as big, but they're cool. They're cool. And then you have um, you have <laughs> so the, that one you showed me doesn't have the sleeper on it. You get you want one like that? That's a day cab. That's a day okay. cab. No, I'd do a sleeper. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'd do a sleeper now. Hold on a second. I might be able to. Then you get one of the little doors in the sleeper that you can open up and. Oh, yeah. Dude, I I, I would so do it. I'd do a big big sleeper, though. If I do one, I'm getting a big one. I'm going to do an. uh, How do I get there? Yeah, I'm trying to talk the wife into doing one of those camper sleepers that that has like a house behind it. Yeah, (laughs) like the like the legacy sleeper. Yeah, that's very neat. Yeah. They're like an RV inside, man. You, you suck oh, yeah. Home. Oh, yeah. They're freaking phenomenal. They're freaking phenomenal. Is this it? What is this? That there, Clark, is a recreational vehicle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, somebody posted on Facebook? Um, it had a little kid in the, in the front yard. It was like a doll, but it had the the um, house coat on and the the hat and it was hooked up to an RV. No. It was on uh, Facebook. It was for for Christmas. Somebody posted it. It's pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> Where the hell is? It? I have a picture. Of, well, it's actually a video, a video. But um, 
I saved it in Facebook, but I don't know how to find it now. I mean, no, Jeff, Facebook, Jeff. Instagram, I mean. I saved it in Instagram, and I don't know. Oh, the save, find the save files. Yeah, check this out, Jeff. I told Lou, if you want to build something, you know, pretty uh, out of the box, get old Mac CF Pumper from the city. You know, old, like, 70s, 80s Mac. It's a cool cab. Can you do that? You know, fire truck at auction. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. So, well, you can't get those anymore, but I mean, they're out there, you know. So if you took the bed off, took the pumps out of it, and made a car hauler out of it, you'd be able to fit six people in there. Oh, that'd be Two so cool. Two in the cool. front oh, and yeah. four in the back. And, that you know, paint it red, you know, and just, you know, have lights on it and stuff. And, you know, go motoring down the road in old CF Mac with a couple right. of cars it's, on the it, back. Like Ram trucks are the ultimate uh, car accessory. I mean, exactly. If you a truck that call, I mean, that's badass. Blue steel in the house. What up, Vince? And I know I could drive one. I mean, I, I have. Very quickly, too. Yeah. Through the city. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the laws of physics, you know how it works, right? The faster you go down a narrow city side street, the faster you go, the narrower the rig gets. So it doesn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. so you start with like three inches on each side. The faster you go, it's like in a cartoon. Yeah. Did you ever get to sit on the back and steer the one in the back? I did. You did. You, you got. You, you got to remember though, on the tiller, tiller, right? If you turn right, you got to turn that wheel left, or else you're going to wind up on the side of the rig, and you'll be waving to the to the chauffeur and the officer. <laughs> so, yeah, if he's making a right turn, you better be cranking that wheel left because the wheels are opposite each other. So they're kind of like you know the back has to follow the front. You, you got to take a test to drive that. They don't just let you out in that. Uh... No, no. You go to chauffeur training school at Randall's Island. Uh, they call it the Rock. Yes. So yeah, it's pretty neat. That's badass. Oh yeah, the, the tiller. Yep. It's you it, know, tiller. Nine Eleven. They need a ladder company chauffeur for you know ladder one fifty three's tower ladder, and I was an engine company chauffeur. So uh, the chief said I need a a ladder company chauffeur. I said no problem. I got it. I said, I know I work in the engine, but I know what I'm doing. So he said, look, you got five minutes up there in the bucket, kids. Let's see what you got. He goes, you're doing good. Make sure you report here every time you come here now. So I had to go at, you know, go through the command post and go see the chief, you know, told him who I was, and up in the bucket I went. So, uh, you know, you got to know your equipment. I don't care what line of work you're in, whether you're assigned to that company or not. If the rig is in your firehouse, if the tool is on your rig or the other rig, you have to know where it is. You have to know how to use it. Plain and simple. So, um, yeah, that was me. I knew a little bit of everything. So, All right, here we go. Now, hopefully I can get to see, see it. Watch the guy's bumper. Watch his front bumper. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah it, it was like up. glowing. No, no, well, watch it. Watch it. It, it tilted up because it's so low. He's clearing the oh, river. Oh, look at that. Yeah. It's, it's tilting, yeah. See how it's at an angle? Yeah. All right, now wow. watch, watch. Just watch. Oh, damn it. Come on. There it goes. Yep. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Did you see it go? <laughs> Fire trucks couldn't do that, Jeff, so. <laughs> wow. You can hide your uh, your uh, uh, airplane, airplane missiles. Sidewinders. Ooh, I like that. Oh, man. Car came off the fucking car hauler. Oh, well, came off the haul hauler. Yeah, it came off. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, there it is. Holy there you go. See. It. Oh, that's terrible. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you don't even know it. That's either. another thing I've been thinking about getting is a dash cam. Yeah, go to drive you. I'm gonna get one. I'm definitely getting one. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely getting one. Yeah, you got you got to have one, man. You, you, just, you just have it. to. You just have to. You know what's funny? The more driving I'm doing now, the more you know. I thought just people in New York were distracted. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Jeff, everyone's distracted on the road, though. I don't care what state you're in. Everyone's got their phone in their hand. Yeah, because they're all on their goddamn phone. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. I sound like my green. You damn kids! But <laughs> they've all got them in their hands. And I, I know in in California, it's been illegal for years now. Yeah. But you still see all these idiots talking on their phone. Um, yeah. And it's and they're in Mercedes and Rolls Royces where. I know I could hook this thing up with Bluetooth. 
Yeah. yeah. It, just, it just drives me nuts. Yeah. My wife's out the window. She goes, you're too old. You're old enough to know better. Get off the phone. She's <laughs> screaming <laughs> in the CVS parking lot, you know? Yeah. 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 Then she gave the old lady a heart attack. I'm like, geez, you know, God. Yeah. She's old. You have to yell that loudly at her. My God. Like, I got a, years ago. Go ahead. I got a connection at a school that works on Tesla's around the corner. And I'm going to, I'm going to do uh, the all the way cameras all the way around the car. As soon as uh, Mr. Lou steals a couple cameras for me. Down there. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they might give them to me. <laughs> but yeah, they, they got them all the way around the car. That's really cool. They will not yeah. be stolen. They will be acquired. They'll be borrowed. There's a difference. They're borrowed. You never <laughs> yeah, yeah. steal anything. Because if you if you steal, you never have the intention of giving it back. If you borrow them, you always have the intention of giving. Them yeah, back. I was going to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would donate to us. <laughs> Misunderstanding. Yeah. So. You you know, Jeff, yeah. I had a quick question for you though. We spoke about lose that for a little bit, and I've been following you on Facebook and Instagram for a long time. Your dad is quite the artist, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, do you have any of his uh, artistic talent as well, or is that just uh, you know uh, your dad? I do. Uh, I can draw a little bit, nothing like my pop. <laughs> um, I like to doodle. I I love flames, and oh, so my brother and and sister in law they ski in my my nieces ski right through their ski coach. They got this rail. It's I don't know how long the damn thing is, twenty feet or whatever it is, but it's for a rail jam. One of those, yeah, uh, yeah, a rail. It's now in their backyard at their mountain house. And Scott tells me when I just talked to him the other day, he's like, "Next time you come out, you got to paint flames on it for me." I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> you want me to paint flames? I'm I'm so honored. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm thrilled I get to paint flames on the damn thing. But yeah, my my <clears throat> pop is uh, he was in the. Uh, I don't know if you can blame me, but probably went in the Air Force to support his family. Uh, but has he's been an artist all of his life. I've actually got one of uh, – before uh, – when he was in college, I've got one of his college paintings from before I was born, 1961, over there on my nightstand. Wow. That, uh, that lives with me. And uh, uh, my mom passed away, and then he moved up to, to Evergreen and got back into art hardcore and is, uh, is at a couple galleries. and oh, Paul wow. Fistet Art. Yeah, Paul Fistet Art, if you want to check it out. and. Uh, there's still plenty of shopping time before Christmas. He'll do custom work for you. Uh, <laughs> but it's, awesome. what what amazes me is he uh, he'll ask me to critique his his art and uh, doesn't take offense when I tell him I think it needs this or that. And then uh, he'll text me a picture and I'll post it up on Facebook and I'll get I, I don't know a hundred or a couple hundred likes or comments. Which is way more than any of my stuff gets, but it's just it's a I, I, he's a he's a talented artist and a super good guy. Yeah, but Jeff, your your medium may not be paint, but I'm telling you, dude, you're an artist when it comes to taking pictures. Yeah, uh -huh, thanks, yep. man. Agree. No, seriously, man, you. Yeah, I, I you're an artist. You, you're just you just have a different medium. You know what thanks, I mean, man? Yeah, my I heard I heard that I have a good eye. Um, yeah, it's like I yeah 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 no like you I said eye. Jeff. You cannot take a bad picture. Ah, you can thanks. try. It's not going to yeah. happen, though. You yeah. got the car. You got the backdrop. You got the idea. You got the vision. I, yeah. Damn, I, now I got to get to work in that book. You guys are killing yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm Thank serious. Okay. I, think yeah, you I, should, I think you could pull it off. All right. Most and people have a hard time finding content. So you have the content and you have the, the story. The story. So yeah, And the scenery. Yeah. And the scenery. And the scenery. He's got yeah. it all. Yeah. And yeah, there's, what's more um, impressive? There, I th I'm pretty sure one of the publishing companies, I don't know which one, but I remember seeing a commercial for it. One of the publishing companies has a thing where they're doing, you can go online and they'll do limited runs for people. I think the minimum was like 100. But oh, you, wow. they would do a minimum run. And if you did something like that and just put it on the internet for sale, you know what I mean? Just, yeah, you can do the whole thing yourself, just like yeah. I do my magazine. You don't need a publisher. Matter of fact, do it all. hold on. Hold on. What's he doing? What's he up to? What's going on? Who knows? Tina got these. This one's from, these are from Google. Okay. 
And these were pictures that we took when we went to England. Mm. This oh, was, no, okay. I went to Ace Cafe in England. But, I mean, and they're all pictures that we took. And they put it in a book. And then they put oh, it. Oh, come on. They put okay. it in a book. That is a great yeah, idea. Yeah, I, I know it wasn't expensive, but if you stop and think about it, Jeff, you could do something like this for a trial run. It's not yeah. big, but you could put, you know, you could do this as a trial run and maybe use it like for your editing. Like, okay, I don't like this one here, so, you know, I want to move it here. And then if you take it to, to and get the big book done, you've already done all your edit. You see what it looks like. And that was through Google? This is, yeah, it's Google. I don't know how it says on the back, Google Photos. She did it through Google. Well, okay. Yeah, they have, it apps. Took a couple they have weeks. apps on your phone too. Apple has has an app for it. Yeah, it took a couple of weeks. And and interesting. Actually, in Apple, you can go on your photos gallery and do a book. Okay. Really? And, and maybe that's how I don't know how she did it. I just know she went through Google. See? Google. Wow. Google wow. Google. I know okay. it was done. I that I don't I'd have to ask her. She's asleep now, but I mean she did and I don't think she paid. I, I don't think she paid a lot for it at all. Like it was when she told me how much it was. I was like, really? That, that, that's pretty good for what you paid. It's like twenty oh, okay. bucks or some shit. You know? That's yeah. That's great. Yeah, I gotta look that up. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Apple I guess, yeah, that's what I would do. And if Apple does it, you're an Apple guy. There you go. Oh you're, yeah. Yeah, I just gotta. I think the main thing I gotta figure out is either a program or how to how to format what I the picture and the words how to format each page otherwise yeah. i've got like you said i've got a i've got a few pictures well um oh, yeah just a few right yeah <laughs> i think it's i use uh, um i use adobe what do i use hold on let me pull it up for the magazine i use um hold on you can use uh illustrator I use that. I use Photoshop to mess with stuff. Okay. Um, Premiere. Okay. Adobe Premiere. Okay. Here, here you go. Shutterfly. Game. Shutterfly. Really? This okay. Is, this is one of them. This is one of them. And they do um, photo books, cards and stationery prints, calendars, gifts, um, home, whatever that's for. I don't know what home is for, but it's just says home kids pets i mean weddings and this is this is like what i was talking about it's all it's online i just typed it in because because when i go there they're right in charlotte they're right on 77 by the south carolina border okay wait yeah. a minute shutterfly. shutterfly isn't that that was kodak's company right before kodak i, I have no idea i just know it's shutterfly and, and that's it you load the pics and they build it it says that was my old car hauler there you go oh nice nice had FL, the condo. FLD? F yeah, FLD. FLD for Had the cat seven <laughs> or four fifty. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. I and I think Shutterfly will do the big book. I'm oh, not really? I'm okay. Not, yeah. But I mean, you know, it'd be a it'd be a cool start. You know, maybe if you it's see probably if there's interest. Gonna, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I think. It might be it might be it'd be worth looking into. Yeah, All definitely. Right. Be worth looking into. Yeah. See, are you glad you came here tonight? <laughs> oh, I miss you guys. <laughs> yeah, we got to do this more often. Yeah. Listen, you're always welcome to come through. We tell everybody that. Well, I forget. It was a. Uh, it was a few months ago. I used to come on a lot, and then all of a sudden, I don't know if it changed from one to the other, but yeah, uh, I couldn't log, log in anymore. Yeah. yeah. So now I got the login. Now, Put you, my yeah, calendar. Yeah, now we got it down pat. So. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what I got to do, though, when the 55 is done, that'll be the car I take on Route 66 if it's ready. And I'm going to have my camera ready. I'm going to call Jeff for some, like, cool spots to check out and, you know, take pictures and stuff because, again, you know, the car is awesome, but the story behind it mm -hmm. is what makes it, you know, and the people right. involved. So uh, right, that's going to be a special trip. You know what that'll else would be, be nice voyage. is take pictures of, like, the waitress. At, at a little diner, like every every diner you hit or something, yeah. Like add in a picture of a, a waitress or a cop or you know something, something oh, like yeah. that. The I'm old drunk, the house. the old drunk on the corner. Get a shot of him. <laughs> you know what? You know what you do. You know it'd be cool. Every little town that you go through, find a cop and and get a picture of him like he's giving you a ticket. Yeah, oh, like he's that. standing there writing a ticket. 
<laughs> it, you know what? I can't, it hit me in either Oklahoma or Texas uh, a couple months ago. Those little, you, you drive through the little towns with nothing in them except like Amboy in California. Right across from Roy's is this the Amboy post office, mm -hmm. which is 10 feet by 10 feet with a door yeah. in the front. And mm -hmm. it's like if you're a little town, as long as you got that post office, you're legit. But I see these post offices now. I'm going to stop go. and get pictures with there these post go. offices. There you go. There you go. It, yeah. Yeah. There it's you a go. sickness. There you go. See, it, yeah, it's, the old it, town. It's a I sickness that, that people cool. like to see. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 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 I just think it makes it cool. You know? Yeah. I like the old towns with the saloons and stuff and, you know, yeah. like the, the hotel and. It, oh, so look up, uh, look up Four Aces movie set and then uh, Club Ed. Uh, those are two movie or two set locations out in, um, I think it's Palmdale. Yeah. I, I've hit Club Ed before. It's like the easy rest in, um, but I haven't <laughs> hit the Four Aces Motel. Um, and it's rest. like, that's, that's on my list now. It's like, it's it's one of those, it's out in the middle of the desert, but it's got a cool sign. Four Aces yeah. Motel. Yeah, look up Four Aces, Four Aces movie set. Well, hey, kids, I got to jump off, but you guys are will welcome to hang out. But Daddy got to go to sleep. Oh, geez. Right. That's right. <laughs> Go yeah. get him, Lewis. Good to see you, my friend. All right. You too. I'll, I'll stay in touch. Good night, Lewis. Talk to you later. Right, later, later, Lou. Yeah, dude, that'd be that'd be pretty cool, man. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Dude. What was the other one? Club Ed, you said? Club Ed. Yeah, I think that's yeah. even the, the website for it. Club Ed. But Four yeah. Aces Motel, Club Ed, and then Roy's. Um, Roy's, it's in Amboy, California, like Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes. Mm -hmm. uh, but those are three places in the middle of the desert that still have they're, they're, they look like little movie sets or out of a quick so cool. film. It's badass. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. See, that's, that's what makes it worth it, man. Really? That's what makes it work. Worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be so cool. I did, and, I did and, a search for club Ed, and this is what I came up with. Yeah. And it gets yeah. so bad that I'll stop and get, you know, awesome pictures here and there and here and there. And then all of a sudden I come across something that's awesome. And it's like, yeah, I'll get it next time. Next time, because it's yeah, yeah. Got to save something for the next trip. <laughs> but you got you got things planned out where you have you know ideas and you know uh, an itinerary. You, you know where you're going, so that's pretty cool, actually. Four Aces Movie Ranch, is, that must be it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Cool sign, right? Oh, saw, that's awesome! <laughs> right? I've seen pictures of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's badass. Jeff, what was the other one then? You had Club Ed, you had, you know, uh, four, four aces. aces. And then Roy's. Roy's, Where's Roy's Am location? Amboy, California. Yeah, that's awesome. Roy's. And yeah, I actually, oh, I actually got yeah. contacted by, uh, by, uh, Am by somebody, one, an Instagram place wanted to use some of my 55 pictures for their, their Amboy visitors. Amboy something oh, no on Instagram. Way. Very cool. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. Was it um Roy? What, what did you Roy? Uh, what did you put in for Roy's? Just click on the link down here, Lou. I just did a, a search. I searched for uh, oh, look at that. Ru put in Route sixty six. Oh, Route sixty six Roy's. Roy's okay. Amboy, California. And it comes up as Route sixty six Roy's. Yep, I've seen that one too. I've seen that one too. I've seen pictures. That's of that really one too. cool. Though. See the but price see, of gas. See, dude, see, that's the reason to go. You know what I mean? That's the reason to do Route 66 right there, that kind yeah. of shit, you know? So, yeah, on, on my way to SEMA last year, I did hit, hit Roy's first, and then uh, then from Roy's, I went to the Hoover Dam. And then uh, after the Hoover Dam, went into uh, – uh, I saw the – there's a an artist I like, Klaus Oldenburg, and he does these uh, – uh, it, it was a sculpture of a flashlight at UNLV that I went to see, and then Ping Pang Pong for some Chinese food and – Went to the hotel and I was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so fucking awesome. If you like Chinese food, ping ping pong, and I'm not I'm not making this up in the Gold Coast. I gotta check it out. Pong. I like Chinese yeah, I like food. That. I do. Ping ping like pong. That. Yep. It's awesome. I like that. Where's that again? Yeah. Ping ping pong. I'm gonna put the link up for that too now. Ping the ping gold pong. Coast. Yeah. The gold Where? Coast. Okay. That's cool. That's awesome. All right, guys. I'm gonna go make my coffee. I will Get see out of here, you guys. Later. Sounds good, Jeff. It was a, it was a joy, and uh, I will see you at Power Tour. Hey, right I'll see there. both of you guys at Power Tour. That's right. Yeah, and you'll see Cotton. 
This is fantastic. Cotton's going to yeah. be there. Hope see, yeah. Cotton. Everyone who's out there watching, stop by the main stage at the Power Tour. Say hi. I know uh, I still haven't met Tori in person, so I'll meet you in person. And then Lou will be up there on stage giving away everybody else's stuff. So nice. I'll be sure to, that's what I do. That's what yeah, I do. That's what <laughs> <laughs> All right. Later, guys. Take care, guys. Good, good night. Good night, Jeff. Great seeing you. You good too. Thank you. Jeff. Right, Take bye. care. Have a good one.